Um, I guess it was the way that um, uh, that any cynicism I had about the therapy was completely blown out of the water the first time that we met. And um, because it was so, because it worked so quickly and so solidly for me the first time that I, you know, that's kind of, it just made me feel very, very good about the whole thing. Um, I looked you up on the internet, I think, and, um, and then we met in Manchester at your office. Mm -hmm. And I came out of there feeling like I'd done absolutely the right thing, which oh, was brilliant. fantastic. And since then you've had Skype sessions, and how do you find the Skype sessions? I like the Skype sessions. I, again, I wasn't sure about how I'd feel about that, um, but the technology being one of them because I don't use Skype very often. Um, but uh, no, that's been great. And it's like you're in the room with me, so it doesn't, it hasn't made, there's been no barrier at all um, with us doing it this way. I felt just as comfortable doing it that way as I have coming into the office. Brilliant. And have you seen a difference from where you started to where you are now? Oh, immeasurable. Absolutely immeasurable. And the odd thing is, is that I don't think the, the difference is, um, is necessarily be able to be quantified by other people. This is something that I feel inside. And when I've gone back and read over some notes that I wrote to you mm. about six weeks ago now, just six weeks ago, I can see that I was a completely, in a completely, I was a, the same person, but in a completely different place. Yeah, yeah. My feelings and my ideas, you know, my thoughts about myself were completely different. Um, and yet my life has barely changed, um, as I say, in any measurable way from the outside. But from the inside, it's completely different, absolutely, okay. immeasurably different. Are you happier now? I'm absolutely happier. Um, I can't express it any other way. It's so difficult for me to express it because it's such a sea change um, that it just doesn't, you know, I can't think of a way of expressing it. I, I know that I'm exactly the same person and I have exactly the same life as I had before, but I just... I've, I've had this kind of 10 degree shift and someone's plonked me down again and I just see it from a completely different viewpoint. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's just absolutely incredible. It really is incredible. Is it worth the money? Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, the way that I look out at life now. So, um, just the, the way that I view people, I wasn't, very, I wasn't feeling very good about the way that I communicated with people before. Um, just sitting here and talking to you now, um, I feel completely different in my communication skills. They were always there, but I was constantly tripping over myself and I just, I never knew what to say and I always used to kind of second guess everything. Um, and I got to a stage before I spoke to you, I think, where that was becoming debilitating. Um, and it's kind of, it's completely gone now. I mean, obviously, there's, there's the normal communication blips that everyone has, but I don't feel... Um, at all awkward now when I speak to people. Um, so it's, it's been great. I mean, from that point of view, and of course with my work, because, um, because I speak to people all day long, I just feel completely comfortable with it, you know? And the, um, I think I said to you when I wrote to you recently that I've, I've stopped going back and thinking over things, which is what I used to do all of the time. I used to kind of think about a situation where I've spoken to someone and worry about the impression that I'd left them with. Um, and I would think it through and think it through and think it through um, to no, you know, to, to no benefit, unfortunately. Um, and now I just feel myself occasionally, if I feel that something hasn't gone exactly as I wanted it to go, I've gone back, thought about the situation, thought it through once and thought, is there anything that I need to do to kind of make that situation better? And if there is, then I leave myself with that and hopefully I'll deal with that next time I see that person. And of course, mostly, you know, mostly I think, no, there isn't, and that's fine, you know, and then just move on from there. So do you think you've got more confidence now, maybe? Absolutely more confidence, yeah. Mm. Ridiculous, I mean, ridiculously so. I just feel, as I say, I feel like a completely different person. It's just, it's odd. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, that's awesome. In a very good way, obviously, but it's just odd, yeah. It really is. And the way I feel about life completely is just, yeah, without going into all of the 
the troubles and traumas that I had, I, you know, those things are still there and the memories of all those things are still there. I still know they're there. Um, but when I go and, you know, when I, when I um, go and think about those things now or when I attach myself to them, the emotional content just isn't there anymore. Um, so I can intellectualize about them, I can think about them if I, if I have to or, if, you know, normally what happens is other people talk about them when I speak to family, etc. Um, they talk about particular people or events, which used to give me, you know, a really difficult reaction. Um, and often I'd have to put the phone down or I'd have to change the subject or, you know, I'd think, oh, I must say to this person, I can't talk about that anymore because it's just too painful. So, yeah, it's just, it's changed my life in so many ways. When anything big used to happen, I used to have so much emotional connection to it before it was possible. When I think about the amount of money I've spent with you, which is very small in comparison, um, you know, I've wasted that kind of money on all sorts of things in my life and got nothing out of it. And so, absolutely, it's worth the money. There's a lot of skeptics out there. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. absolutely there is. And I, I was probably one of them, but that's only because I think that maybe because before people come to you, they've tried numerous other things and they fail. Obviously, they fail because otherwise they wouldn't still be looking. So we said. And so, of course, you know, you get more and more jaded every time something doesn't work. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you've led me by the hand through, um, through what was a very, very difficult thing for me. Um, and, you know, you've done it in a... You, you kept my humour up and, you know, you, you've not made me um, think about these things too often or made it too difficult for me. You just made it as easy as you possibly can do. And um, and there's something you know there's a there's a very easy connection with you, and so therefore it's made it very very easy for me. That's the other thing that you do really really well is that you give of yourself a lot in emails. So I was asking you questions in emails, and you were saying you weren't just giving me stock answers, you know, because I'm sure it was it was answers to questions that loads of people have asked you. When I look back on it, and I just thought, well, she could have easily just kind of like you know, done that, and just giving me the first and the last bit personal, but you didn't, and it made me feel, it made me feel like you were talking to me. A lot of work that goes into it, and she's really been thinking about the question I've asked, and, you know, you really gave me some interesting, um, some interesting answers to stuff, you know, and then I kind of missed something the first time around, and then I'd reread it, and I'd see something else, and I'd just think, oh, okay, yeah, that's what she's saying, you know, and it just, it kept on giving. Brilliant. Um, that's it really did keep on giving. That's brilliant. That. Um, so yeah, I can't, ha I can't, I can't thank you enough for that. I really can't. And you know, to give you something nice at the end, is it's got to be the way that you are with people. You know, there's your voice anyway, which lends itself. Or you know, I don't know how much you kind of worked on that, but it, now it certainly lends itself to the kind of work that you're doing. There's a lovely timbre to your voice that makes it very easy to listen to. I listen to your. Um, um, to your podcast, I'm not sure if it's a podcast because I'm not very technically into all that stuff. But you're the thing that you do that you've, you've downloaded for me that I listen to occasionally. Yeah. And to that, it just you've got kind of numerous different layers on that, mm. and it just works really, really well. Oh, good. Uh, very, very well. Oh it's yes, do you like those? Do you like those hypnosis? Do I listened to it this afternoon because I was a bit stressed this afternoon with um, a couple of things that I had to do. So I thought, right, okay, I'll listen to that before I speak to you doing this. And I realized that a couple of times now I've done that where I've fallen asleep for five minutes or so. Mm. I always wake, wake up on the counter. Oh, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. It's really interesting. <laughs>